guys welcome back to my channel so I have two other videos I'm still in the process of attempting to edit a uh, moving update before this one and then also a gold paper prints haul however we are as I just said we are in the process of moving or getting ready to so I have just been completely busy with that and then on top of that my daughter has her therapy and she has school and then we have virtual school twice a week and then there's trying to get her other school all set up and trying to get a therapy set up without any schedule being fully set and getting new therapy and it's, it's just it's crazy I like literally just got our movie or our movers our movers set up and uh Unfortunately, it's not the same ones that we used the last two times. Um, our mover that we usually contact, he just had a baby. So, yeah, there's that. And then I decided, okay, well, I'll go with my second choice because I did have a backup just in case. So they will be here on Saturday. So here is everything that's going on right now because I don't know when I'm going to be able to... Uh, hop back on or anything like that so um as of right now today is wednesday august 26th today would have been our moving or not our moving our closing day but it happened yesterday surprise surprise um we got a call and notification or email on uh monday saying that they wanted to do the closing on uh, Tuesday, Monday to Tuesday, or on Monday for Tuesday, um, uh, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so we had the notary show up yesterday after my husband got off of work and signed some documents and yeah, all that's left. Everything is paid for. We are completely done with everything like that, um, paying for things and so... Um, the only thing left is movers and got to turn on the water and cancel our internet. Movers are done. I have to finish the living room, the closet, her toys, laundry room. And those are just like the easier parts. The bedroom, it's just clothes. I'm going to throw everything into trash bags, I think. And then I have the kitchen to do. So I'm going to start the kitchen today. Uh, yesterday, our morning ABA had to go to the urgent care. So she was not here. So I didn't have anybody here until about 1.20. But then she ended up leaving three hours later. So um, we pretty much had talked. And I was trying to get... I'm trying to be more... I shouldn't say more hands-on, I already am hands-on. I'm trying to be extra hands-on just because um, there might be like a small window where I'm going to have to do all these things by myself without backup because that's what I consider them backup. So, especially with the potty training, so w which we're getting so freaking good at. Like, it's, it's getting there. It's gonna be the one as soon as she just has that one time that she just goes fully all the way in the toilet without standing up because for whatever reason she wants to like stand up and squat um I don't know if it's the noise of the water that's scaring her or the feeling or what but something's making her just want to like stand up and finish peeing um so there's that sorry TMI but I'm a mom and doing potty training with my autistic kid so no apologies actually um so I'm trying to think um yeah so right now today would have been the closing day we would have signed everything off but it's not yesterday was um it prop maybe it still is for the sellers I'm not sure um but I have today is the la second to last day that the kiddo would be in school um, here. And then 
tomorrow will be the last virtual day, Friday will be the last day of school, and then um, I'm in the process of talking to her new teacher who just emailed me this morning. So we're going to try and figure out a time, hopefully on Monday, to kind of go over goals and everything, I guess, and then get a schedule. Um, so there's that. Friday, after we pick up the kiddo, we're going to, um, so I'm going to take the kiddo to school, come back. My husband and I are going to finish packing anything we need to pack. Um, hopefully it's not much. Hopefully I can get most of it done today and tomorrow. Uh, then Friday he's off, so we're gonna, I'm gonna take her to school, come back, we're gonna finish packing, and then take a few things to the car. I'm gonna go get her, come back, get my husband, and then, um, we're gonna head to the house for, this will be the third time that we've been to the house since we, um, put the offer in and got accepted and the whole process of getting a house. Um... So we're going to go and pick them up. We'll be there before noon, but I'm hoping we can let our agent know that. We'll probably be there just before noon. She's going to hand us the keys. The kiddo will see uh, our house for the first time. And we'll get to see our house for the first time empty. And then drop off a few things. Head back. We'll probably grab something to eat. Um, and then finish up here. I might see if we can't possibly get the great-grandparents to come a half hour to an hour earlier so that way hubby and I can go ahead and make a second trip out there fill up the car but like fully 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 because um we will have no car seat on Friday after they pick her up unless we drop her off but I think we're still gonna pick her up or uh they're still gonna pick her up so they're gonna pick her up take the car seat with and then we'll have the complete car, a completely empty car. So we'll just put everything in there. My goal is to get all the bags and maybe even the fragile stuff to the house ourselves so that we don't have to worry about it in the move on Saturday. Plus I want to bring all of the food. So that way it's already there. We're just going to order out, I mean... I don't need to do dishes so I'm gonna get everything done Friday that wise like before we go um, I'm gonna have everything hopefully all of the food packed up tomorrow night and then Friday morning she'll eat hope well hopefully she'll eat before school she has a habit of not wanting to be hungry until after school so I will definitely be bringing snacks as well um, and that way we have the food already there. We don't have to worry about any, um, anything cold or frozen or anything like that. Though I'm very, very, very tempted just to be like, I don't want to bring anything in from the freezer. Um, but there's a few things that we like literally just bought that I'm just like, I don't want to waste the money. So I don't know. We'll see. Um, might just get rid of all like the cold stuff and keep the frozen stuff. Um, and then... So we're going to make two trips out on Friday, get our keys, and then Saturday we have to get up super early in the morning, like 6, probably more like 5 o'clock in the morning we'll get up, finish doing anything that hasn't been done, which it should already be all done, um, maybe go grab something to eat, and then we're going to go get the truck at 7, and then we'll come back. Hubby has a friend of ours that is going to be helping us, that helped us last time, and then we have the movers at 8 o'clock. So we'll have like a good maybe 45-ish minutes um, to pack up the truck ourselves. And then when, by the time the movers get here, hopefully we'll have like maybe, I don't want to say close to half, but if we can get at least like all the boxes ready and have the furniture ready to go out the door, or out the door and into the truck, which I'm still not sure if the furniture should go in first or boxes yeah I'll let you know when I hop on here again um so we're gonna get that started though since we figured that out if we can get most of the furniture in or if we decide to do the boxes first I want to say the boxes went in first last time 
yeah the boxes went in first last time and then the furniture yeah so if we can get as many of the boxes into the truck as we can before the movers get here then they can mostly just help us out with the furniture and then we can go ahead hop in the cars and head to the house and then unload because that is where the majority of everything is gonna be time wise not loading but unloading um and I have a plan for that I definitely have a I think I have a good plan for that too I think what I want to do is have us do the furniture that's gonna go in the back of the house have us go through our patio and then the um, the only things that are in the front of the house um, is going to be the table and the chairs and then the beds we can easily 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 um, just go right through the door through the garage um, that'll be easy peasy because like literally you just go through through the garage through our laundry room and then there's two bedrooms a bathroom and then our bedroom so it should be easy peasy this time definitely easy peasy we're just the only thing we need to get out of my brother-in-law's room is the bed if he's still giving that to us so um yeah and if not we have a backup plan to that too um so yeah i in fact you know what i don't think i'm going to edit my previous video or this one but i'll edit the my haul a little bit because I just don't have time and I want to get these up as soon as I can although I do know that by the time this one comes up I've already moved but here's an update anyways and then I will be doing um, a tour next Tuesday I'll film it and hopefully have it uh, all set up or edited and ready to upload the next day the latest if not same day so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, sit down I got told that definitely gotta call this Chelsea chats so thank you for watching another Chelsea chats with the moving uh, update and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys